it's John, welcome back to my channel, and I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, but I recently got back from a trip to the west coast, so I've got a lot of great videos in store. But today I just kind of wanted to start things off slow, and uh, give you a little factory update tour. I, uh, as part of my trip I visited a few different factories that uh, manufacture passenger equipment in the United States, and so I just wanted to show you what the state of affairs looks like at uh, various different factories in the western United States. So we'll start off here at the Siemens factory in Sacramento, California. And uh, Siemens is by far the most prolific passenger rail builder in this country. They make all kinds of different stuff. And I'm sure uh, a lot of you have seen the Coaster Fan 2105 video, a uh, set of videos that he did on the Siemens factory about how they build the Siemens chargers, the SC44 chargers here in uh, Sacramento. So let's just take a look around at the plant and see what there is to see. Uh, first off, we can see a unfinished uh, venture coach there. And I believe that's a Texas uh, Houston Metro Rail uh, S70 there off to the right. And one of many, many Sound Transit light rail vehicles that they have sitting here waiting to be delivered. I'm not sure exactly why there are so many Sound Transit vehicles. Obviously they ordered quite a few. But uh, I, I would imagine they'd probably want to get those out the door <laughs> sooner rather than later. But uh, you can see one little uh, Orange County streetcar poking out from behind there. And there's another one. Uh, the OC streetcar would actually be a great video idea. So maybe you should subscribe and stick around to see that. <laughs> that is, of course, being built in Santa Ana, California. So here's the first of many chargers that they have that are nearly finished, ready to go. Uh, you can see an Amtrak long distance one there uh, under the shed. Here we got some Brightline ones. I didn't know Brightline was uh, buying new equipment for the Orlando extension, which you can check out my video of. But uh, that extension is actually about 60% done right now, and we will see more Brightline vehicles to come. So yeah, yeah, that was a via rail charger and i have to say those via rail locomotives look beautiful that's a that's a wonderful paint scheme and here we have a couple of pacific surfliner uh chargers and i think we just missed a san diego trolley right back there there's another oc street car lots more sound transit cars and there's a little valley metro uh light rail s uh, 700 poking its head out there the purple nosed one Like I said, I, it is just incredible how much equipment they manufacture here and how much is still sitting here just waiting to be delivered. It's really a uh, a very prolific factory, especially for the size, because this is a, not a very large facility. But there is a finished Amtrak Venture Coach. A couple of them. And look at all the chargers. This is just wonderful to see. Uh, it's wonderful to see Amtrak getting new equipment. Uh, I would just wish there was probably a little bit more, but this is definitely a wonderful start and hopefully the first of many more new coaches to come. So there's another Brightline charger. Uh, I would imagine they're probably buying some new Venture coaches themselves for the extension because I believe the plan was originally to start off with what? Four car trains and up it to seven car trains maybe? I'm sure you can correct me in the comments there, but uh, it's all, it's wonderful to see all this new equipment. And unfortunately this uh, site has the most to see of any of the sites that we will uh, check out in this video, but nevertheless, I just wanted to give you an overview of the state of affairs currently in this country. And keep in mind, uh, this factory and most of the other ones that we will see only really exist because of the Buy America Clause, which is kind of a double-edged sword. It definitely drives up the cost of new rolling stock acquisitions because of higher labor costs and higher material costs building these products in the United States. Lots more venture coaches in there. But uh, nevertheless, it does provide jobs and uh, it does stimulate a domestic rail equipment market uh, which I would really love to see expanded upon so that's kind of interesting that house has been spared 
from the growth of this factory. But uh, yeah, look at all the OC streetcars. I uh, wouldn't imagine that any of them have been delivered yet, just considering how many there are still sitting around here. But uh, that's going to be an exciting project when it's finally done. I believe it's supposed to be done in 2023. So here we have some unfinished uh, vehicle car bodies. It's hard to tell without the paint where they're all destined to go, but uh, those, certainly those, some of those red ones are probably going to San Diego, I'd imagine. And uh, they, they also do uh, equipment rebuilds here. So uh, possibly some of these vehicles that we're looking at are in the process of being rebuilt or whatever. And check it out. There's a couple more Brightline car bodies, uh, Charger car bodies. So this is all really exciting to see. And those new Amtrak long distance units. I can't wait to see those out running out in the wild because uh, they look pretty sharp. So yeah, again, as you as we uh, take a stroll around this campus, just keep in mind how it is, is looks big because we're kind of low to the ground, but it is not a very big uh, site, particularly for how much equipment they manufacture. They're really doing a a wonderful job cranking out the equipment here and playing kind of musical trains, shifting everything around the yard. <laughs> it looks like every one of those uh, stalls in the actual factory are full of either coaches or light rail vehicles being fitted out and it's uh, it's just wonderful to see and there we are looking at downtown Sacramento off to the north This line is, uh, this factory is located on the Union Pacific line. So the UP transports a lot of equipment. And here we are at the uh, Pittsburgh factory, the former Ansaldo Breda and now Hitachi factory. If you saw my video like this from last year, you'll remember that we saw the last few of the Hart uh, Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transit automated light rail vehicles that were still sitting here uh, waiting to be delivered. That contract is now wrapped up. All the heart vehicles have been delivered. And so right now this factory is largely dormant. Uh, the plan was for Bay Area rapid transit cars built by Bombardier to eventually be uh, finished here. I believe somebody commented that the car bodies were being manufactured in Mexico and uh, being finally assembled up in uh in the united states but they are still being assembled in uh their factory in new york as we'll see here in just a minute uh as we were leaving this site uh we actually passed a bark car that was actually about to be delivered i've seen several bark cars coming through uh nebraska which is actually where i live on interstate 80 being delivered from the factory in new york to the bay area but uh they are doing something at this site uh they're definitely not doing full manufacturing yet but i believe that's probably still the goal and there you can see the car off to the left being delivered by a truck so anyway let's skip now to salt lake city where caltrain a vehicles are being manufactured you can see three car bodies sitting there and here are some more. These look to be about finished. Of course, this is the Stotler factory in Salt Lake City, Utah, just west of Salt Lake. And uh, the first train set has finished. It's still being tested at the TTC in Pueblo, Colorado, the Transportation Technology Center. But uh, this is not the only uh, vehicles that they manufacture here. They've also manufactured cars for Austin, Fort Worth, Texas. And as we'll see in just a little bit, uh, the Redlands, La DMU project in San Bernardino, California. You can actually see those Redlands cars poking off to the left there. And here we are. We couldn't get any close to the factory because we were actually just right, just shy of the flight path of uh, Salt Lake City International Airport. So this is as close as we could get with the drone, unfortunately. But uh, nevertheless, it gives you a good sense of 
how much, um, how many cars are being built here. The Caltrain order is obviously quite substantial. They're building electric multiple units for the newly electrified corridor, which I will be putting out a video on very shortly. There we can see the uh, two of the Redlands DMU trains, the uh, Flirt DMUs. The Caltrain cars are actually called the KISS EMUs, and these are Flirt DMUs, diesel multiple units. But here we can see another shot of those Redlands trains. And even though it's hard to see, here is a shot of what they look like up close, as I will do a be doing a video very shortly on the Redlands light rail project. I actually did a drone overview of basically the entire corridor. So again, make sure you subscribe to see that. I'm very excited to be bringing that to you. And now let's move on to Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Chicago, here we are looking at the South Shore line uh, heading off towards Indiana. We're actually really close to the border as we are on the very south side of the city. Here we are looking at the Headwich Station. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but as you can see, it's electrified uh, commuter rail system with uh, high level platforms. It's a wonderful system from the former South Shore that runs on to the former Illinois Central. Anyway, there we are looking at downtown Chicago as we are on the extreme southeast corner of the city. And here is the factory. Unfortunately, there is nothing really to see here, but they are building the new 7000 series cars for the Chicago Transit Authority, uh, which are very sharp. And the first few cars have actually been delivered. So I believe this factory was new construction. It looks like a pretty new building. And of course, CRC is the China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation. This is one of two factories that CRC has in the United States. The other is, of course, in Springfield, Massachusetts, where they're building cars for the MBTA, as well as the Los Angeles Metro for the new Purple Line extension, which of course you can see up here. And of course you can see an update on that line. I have a drone flyover coming of basically the entire line. The only portion that I didn't get was just a few hundred feet uh, in the flight path at Santa Monica Airport. That's kind of a common theme with all these drone flights, but, uh, but nevertheless, I'm looking forward to putting that video out, so make sure you subscribe to see that. So anyway, unfortunately, not much to see here. I just wanted to show you where this factory was at in case anybody was interested. Now here is another one that's kind of sad to see. This is the Nip and Sherio plant in Rochelle, Illinois, just off of Interstate 88. Uh, nothing really to see here. I was trying to get some drone footage of it, but uh, there was lots of security around and it looks like they're actually kind of gutting this factory. This factory has built lots of products over the years, including the new Metro Electric cars, lots of Metro bi-level cars, uh, Caltrain VRE cars that are all nearly identical as well as Mark cars. And they were supposed to be building the new bi-level cars as part of the 2009 stimulus package. Uh, but of course we kind of know what happened there. And now that factory is closed and unfortunately a lot of people lost their jobs because of it. And just to wrap up here in my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska is of course the Kawasaki Heavy Industries factory. There we can see a lot of M9 car bodies under wraps. Their car bodies are manufactured here and then shipped to New York to be finished, as well as some last few M8 cars being manufactured for the state of Connecticut. So of course these are all great to see, but of course they're also building the R211 cars here. There's really nothing to see here. They probably have some inside that are being worked on, but uh, of course we all know that the first 10 cars have been recently delivered and are actually just starting testing right now. And one factory that I didn't feature in this video is the Kinky Sherio factory in Palmdale, California. They are of course manufacturing lots of light rail vehicles for the LA Metro rail system. But unfortunately that factory is actually located at an airport and it's a pretty small facility. It looks like it's just a finishing facility. So the car bodies are shipped in and that kind of thing. But as it was by an airport, uh, I couldn't even get close to it to shoot anything really from the ground. So there was really not much point in going there. But anyway, I figured I'd just include that as this is a kind of an overview of passenger rail manufacturing in the Western United States. There's lots more manufacturing going on in the Eastern United States. And I would have liked to have done a video like this on passenger rail manufacturing in the east uh, when I was there earlier this spring, but uh, my schedule was pretty full as it is and I barely had enough time to film all the videos that I did. But anyway, I just wanted to include that just for the sake of completeness.
So anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to see all the future videos that I have coming out. Like I said, I've got videos coming out on the Redlands commuter train in San Bernardino, the Metro Purple line, the Crenshaw LX line, the Regional Connector, as well as a huge project I did on the California High Speed Rail. I recorded 117 miles of the 119 miles that are currently under construction with my drone. The brief gap is in southern Fresno, where it was in the flight path of Fresno Executive Airport. But say la vie, I got some footage to back up that small portion that I missed, as well as a Caltrain electrification update and uh, many more to come. So thanks a lot for watching. Again, please subscribe, like, comment, share, blah, 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 Patreon. And of course, I will see you all soon.